Do you know how the barred owl flies? I'm an aerospace engineering student at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and today we have partnered with the Coastal Interpretive Center to tell you a little bit about the barred owl, including what they look and sound like, the forces of flight, and the biomechanics of barred owl flight. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, the barred owl is the second largest North American owl, with a length between 17 and 20 inches and a wingspan between 39 and 43 inches. Barred owls have brown and white striped feathers and big brown eyes, and are commonly recognized by their distinctive hoot, often described as sounding like the question, who cooks for you, or who cooks for you all? Barred owls are considered birds of prey because of their carnivorous diet, which, according to the Audubon Society, commonly includes small mammals, birds, reptiles, and insects. Because barred owls are nocturnal, the majority of their hunting occurs at night, where they fly invisibly through the wooded areas they call home. They are non-migratory, meaning they live in these wooded areas all year round. Barred owls originated in eastern North America, but have since expanded their habitat to include the Pacific Northwest, ranging from southern Canada to northern California. This movement has caused the barred owl to encroach upon the territory of the already threatened spotted owl, which is a native species to the Pacific Northwest. Before we dive into how barred owls fly, let's look at how flight works and the forces that are necessary for it to occur. According to NASA, flight is sustained by four forces, weight, lift, drag, and thrust. Weight is the force that comes from Earth's gravity. It's the same one that keeps you and me from floating into the sky. Lift counteracts weight, allowing objects to rise off the ground. In airplanes, this is created through aerodynamic wing shapes. The third force is drag, which acts opposite the direction of a plane's movement and comes from friction caused by the air. To counteract this, planes have engines that create thrust, which provides the propulsion necessary for the plane to move forward. These same forces act on a barred owl as they fly. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, birds have light, hollow bones, which allows the force of weight against them to be quite low. Bird wings are curved on top, which traps air under the wing to create lift. Barred owls create thrust by flapping their wings, which overcomes the drag acting against them. Barred owls are very silent flyers, which the Audubon Society states allows them to hear their prey and keep their prey from hearing them. This comes from the large wingspans that allow them to glide and the serrated feathers on the leading edges of their wings that break up noisy air. Overall, barred owls are a fascinating bird, from their habitat expansion to their aptitude for near silent flight. Next time you find yourself in the woods, keep an ear out for their who cooks for you call and an eye out for their brown and white plumage. Who knows, maybe you'll even get to see one glide through the trees. Thank you to the Coastal Interpretive Center for this opportunity, and I hope you will check them out.